For thousands of years, owls from all over the world have been an inspiration for stories, myths, and legends. Many of the owls in these art forms are depicted as all-knowing or wise. Hollywood has also portrayed owls as being very intelligent in different movies and commercials. This raises the question, are owls actually wise? The answer may surprise you. In order to answer this question, we need to take a close look at the anatomy of an owl. Oop, maybe not that close. That's better. Check out how big an owl's eyes are compared to the rest of their skull. They are huge. Owl's eyes are shaped like light bulbs, and the part that we are looking at is actually the smaller end. Their eyes are so big, they take up about 75% of the space inside their skull. That doesn't leave a whole lot of room for another very important organ, the brain. Owls have relatively small brains compared to other animals and may not be as wise as stories say. But owls have some pretty amazing adaptations that allow them to be very successful raptors out in the wild. In fact, they are very good at being owls. Just ask our wildlife educator, McKenna Schaefer. Owls are one of my favorite birds to talk about because they have so many cool adaptations. And one of those adaptations is their eyeballs. Owls have such big eyes that they actually need bones to hold their eyes into place. Now as humans, we have muscles that hold our eyes into place. So we can look up and down and side to side without even moving our heads. Owls are not able to do that because of that bone. Instead, they can turn their head 270 degrees, and that allows them to see everything that is going on around them. Well, now you may be wondering, how can an owl turn its head so far around? Owls have 14 bones in their neck, whereas humans and other mammals, even giraffes, only have seven. We can only turn our heads to about our shoulders because our neck bones are big and firm. An owl's neck bones are smaller and more flexible, so they are able to work together as the owl turns its head. Owls use their acute hearing to find their food. But you know what? I think we'll save that topic for another episode. If you are interested in learning more about owls, Subscribe to the Raptor Center's YouTube channel and check out our video on silent flight. Or visit the Raptor Center to get nose to beak with these mysterious nocturnal creatures. If you want to help out owls in the wild, we recommend turning off your porch lights when you go to bed at night. Light pollution makes it hard for nocturnal predators to hunt. Prey items can spot an owl a lot easier when humans leave their lights on. When you turn your lights off at night, owls can sneak up much easier on their food and in turn, help you control those pesky rodent populations. Thank you for joining us for another avian adventure. We'll see you next week.